What's going on guys? This is another Oracle from Android Invasion. I want to show you how the on live desktop actually works on an Android tablet. Now I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus and technically it's not officially supported by my device but by the magic of the XA developers you can actually get the download link off of the XA developers website. I myself won't show you how to do it but you know with the magic of Google you can do it yourself. So let's just go straight to the on live desktop application. I believe I should have it. Uh, there we go. On live desktop. See, it's asking me for my information. So I'm just going to sign in. Everything's already set up. Hmm. It takes a little bit to connect because it's connecting remotely to a server PC. Well, that's how they put it. You're basically doing the same thing you do with the online games. With the online of online games, you're accessing a server that they already have set up. And with online desktop, you're going to access a server they have set up with Windows 7. So as you see here, it syncs up with your online account. If you actually go to the online website, you'll be able to set up what applications actually go on well, applications well, what documents you can actually put here to view pictures music so this over here is the my documents link everything works with just one tap you don't have to double tap or anything it's made really well for you know single tapping now uh, the documents on the side is the one that I was telling you about when you edit your documents online you actually upload them to their server and it will show up here this is something I was working on my earlier when I first downloaded this. So let's just open up. It's a Word 2010 document, as you see, because it's in the door from Android Invasion. And I'll open up the keyboard. And as you see, it's a full QWERTY keyboard. Of course, this is on a 7 inch screen, so it's not going to be too great. Um, let's enter. There isn't too much lag on this. It actually, It's actually not that bad of a keyboard, to be honest. It works decently. Uh, this is a test okay the quick brown fox jumps over the red house well uh see there were some errors but nothing too bad um there is no right clicking here so Hmm, oh wait, wait, maybe I get something. Let's let's both just try closing the keyboard to see if maybe we can get a right click so we can fix the spelling. Nope, just opens up the keyboard again. Oh, so there's no autocorrect on this as you see, but it does tell you when you made a mistake. Uh, let's see how it's moving through the uh, actual. Okay, so the. Uh, the scrolling bar on the side is inverse, so when you when you move the mouse up, it actually moves down. If you can see with screencast, I have a pointer there, so you know what I'm talking about. This isn't exactly too bad. You can use this to edit things. It's nice to have Microsoft Word, you know, as a. Let's move this over. Oh, that was awkward. Just close that. It's nice to have Microsoft Word, you know, on a tablet. You don't have to worry. But yeah, let's save this. If you're not too into using something like Polaris Office or Doxigo, which I myself personally am, I, I, I prefer to use uh, Doxigo when I'm taking notes in school. So let's see, what's in this pack? Windows Touch Pack. Let's see, apparently these are some games you can, or things you can actually do with Touch. So this is Windows 7, and I'm assuming this is like a tablet version of it. I know there are actual Windows 7 tablets you can use, which is why this actually works so well. Let's see what this is doing. Uh, 
this is all touched using the server. Uh, Internet Explorer works if you have a pro account with them. Uh, for, unfortunately, I do not. So let's see, we open this. Uh, it's also our on live, yeah, unleash your desktop. And let's check Gmail. Maybe we can actually open up our, yeah, on live desktop standard service does not support general web browsing. So if you have a pro account, I think it costs four ninety nine a month to do that. You can actually browse the web. Um, you know, on Internet Explorer for having any issues. Let me try to open up a PowerPoint presentation. Let's open a PowerPoint. I don't. I don't have any PowerPoint presentations loaded up. So let's just edit something and just let's see what we can do with this. Uh, no. Oh no! As you see, I'm trying to get the uh, keyboard to open up, but it doesn't look like I'm having any chance on getting it to. Oh. Uh, Let's see, maybe I can try drawing tools, ink tools, no, oh boy, this is a bummer, I'm trying to use the uh, PowerPoint, I can't seem to open up the keyboard, that's right here, oh wait, I know what I do, that was, I was being an idiot, let's open this back up, click to our title, and just press keyboard, yeah, should have just done that. This is wait, am I typing off? This is a test. I love Android Invasion. Okay, let's close this. Um, well, well, kind of got the gist of it. Now let's do the actual slide show. Whoops. Let's put this back up to the top. Okay, slide show. And from beginning. And well, there you go, slideshow. And a slideshow. Click to exit. So as you see this this actually does work. It has actual uses. I'll test this out when I'm actually in classes and I'll see whether I actually get some new functionality out of this. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else we can really do. Let's see, what says paint? Ooh, okay, I see this is being cool. Not bad. Alright guys, well I guess that's going to be it. I'll just, don't, yeah, I don't want to save this. That's uh, just my little review of on live desktop. Uh, you guys can check this out by downloading it. You can, if your device is not supported on the marketplace, you should go to XDA Developers and do a search for the uh, on live desktop application because it's free. It's allowed to be posted there, even though it's not supported. You can download it off the market. So that's it. Uh, I'll just show you how to log out. You just press Start Menu and you press Log Out, and then that's it. Back to my uh, home screen. So again, I'm Antonio Doro from Android Invasion. Until next time.